Hi, this is Nick James with Promo Only, and I'm here with the band uh, Horror. How you doing, guys? What's what going on? How you doing, man? Thank y'all for meeting with us. Um, those not familiar with this band, uh, it's just an incredible horror, punk, hardcore, industrial, metal sludge, trap fest at every show. Um, thankfully, they've taken the time out from this secret show in Orlando to give us an interview. Um, basically, we just want to ask some questions that our DJs would be interested in knowing about. Um, if you were going to describe your sound, which a lot of people equate with bad brains and um, Nine Inch Nails and uh, Black Flag, what would you tell your grandmother you sound like? Like, if you were going to describe your sound to <laughs> an older person, how would you describe it? Uh, I would say high energy, a bit, a bit angry, very fun, you know, something that can make you move your body and jump around and also maybe make you want to punch somebody in the face and also give them a hug at the same time. So pretty that's, that's how I would pretty, pre pretty accurate. It, uh, it would take them back to their youth. Let's just say that. It would take them back to their youth, their 16-year-old, 15-year-old self. That's what we strive to bring out of them. Excellent. <laughs> cool. So can you guys explain to me your songwriting process? Um, do your producers write the music and then you write lyrics to them? Or are you constantly writing lyrics and then mm -hmm. fitting them the songs that you're provided? Um, it's a mixture. Honestly, it's a mixture. Um, we are heavily invested in, make, in uh, producing as well. Okay. Like, so... You know, when we're in the studio, I mean, obviously anybody can send us beats, you know, but we like to be hands on. Like, you know, I like to, to, to be there when uh, we're putting drums down or riff together, whether we uh, know exactly what we want to do, whether it's a jam session or it's just like some trappy like hip hop vibe. Um, but we're always there for every beat that's being okay. made. You know what I'm saying? We're there, and then we write the lyrics. So usually the sound gets laid out first, the sound palette, and then from there the music speaks to us, and then we put lyrics down on them. Okay, excellent. You know? And you, are you also actually producing some of the beats? I looked at the liner notes, and it appeared that you, you guys are actually doing. Some yeah, yeah, yeah. As well. um, we, yeah, yeah. I'm like, I'm like in it, man. I'm, I'm in there with dudes, like you know, just testing my my skills out as well. But um, mostly I just know what I want in my head. Like I know what I want it to sound like. So I'll just take that and to somebody who actually knows what they're doing on the computer and put that together. That's usually how it works. Okay. It's the same with him, you know, like the riffs, like he thinks of riffs and shit like that. And we just make it happen. Now, I, I went and I listened to a lot of the producers and I'm familiar with a lot of their works. You've got guys from Santa Gold and 100 Waters and- That works. Um, how are you picking these producers to work with? Is this management or is these people you know that you already have relationships with? Some of this music actually sounds outside their normal wheelhouse. You know what I'm <laughs> yeah. saying? Like, I mean, it is. This is. Like you said, it's a pretty energetic and aggressive music, and yeah. some of these guys write melodic yeah, and yeah. techno, it yeah. sounds like. <laughs> yeah, no, true. It, yeah. It's true. Yeah. Well, a lot of them is already a friendship there built, so, you know, it's, it's people we've been knowing, and not really people we've emailed and be like, yo, can we do a track? But you know, a lot of people do the music they do today, whether it's pop or whatever you want to call it. But just like just like Dave Sitek from TV on the radio, he's he's an old punker dude. His favorite band is Bad Brains and, and Cro Max. So and he's so knowledgeable of his music and understanding of everything. He can make a pop know, song a pop and then song, big R &B R &B song and yeah. then yeah. come back and he can riff on some new jams with us so yeah. he, he knows the deal it's yeah. funny you picked him specifically because <laughs> I recognize the name but I went to SoundCloud to pull and I'm like this dude's done remixes for just about everybody and they're all over the place yeah. you know like sonically they yeah. don't really sound yeah. so that, that's that's good to hear yeah. so because most of your stuff is actually produced mm -hmm. uh, in a studio how does that translate into your live show I know you've got Brandon Pertzborn right. Drummer, but you, you sampler, are you using samplers to trigger some of the sounds? Do you actually on have stage? guitars? Yeah. On stage? Yeah. On stage, we don't have guitars and bass. Okay. But when we record the music, we do. Okay. They're, right. they're actual live jams. Right. You know, but on stage, our whole vibe was to like, just bring something new to the table. Like, there's, there's no right or wrong way to perform your music or to express your music. You know, sometimes we get a couple people that are like, so but heard about the traditional style of the way rock and roll should be played and there's no rule book in rock and roll no. like you know oxymoron. right <laughs> yeah. and, and, you know so 
that was our thing, man, to just keep it, keep it small, keep it, you know, small as a group, but hard, visceral. Yeah. Right. And the goal is to be louder, faster, <laughs> and heavier. So, you know. I, you, we, I've, I've seen videos of you guys on stage. I'm blessed tonight to be able to actually attend the show. Um, very, very, very animated, and, mm -hmm. and it's almost like you're actually part of the crowd. Two yeah. guys who happen to just jump and snatch up some microphones. We are the crowd. Yeah. We, are, <laughs> we are the crowd. The crowd We're the stage. There's, there's not people <laughs> at the stage watching three people perform. We're all in it. We're all in it together. This is an experience, you know. Any injuries for you guys on this tour? Sprained hmm. ankles, broken fingers. Um, not on, lungs. not a, not. <laughs> not really. No, no. Okay. Not on this one in particular. Ones yeah. before. <laughs> I've got one question for each one of you, um, and this will be the last question. Mm -hmm. Three albums, new or old, known or not, mm -hmm. that you would like to tell the world of DJs that if you've never heard this album, you should go and buy it. Besides your own, which is the United States of Horror. Damn, three albums. Three albums for the DJs? No, no, not nah, the just, DJs. No, nah, just three albums like, that you like. If you were going to introduce me to three albums, like, yo, you, love, you will love these albums. Like, what, what, what would you say? And not because you know my taste, but your yeah. taste. You want to go first? <laughs> you got to think about it, right? <laughs> yeah, I think about it. Quick um, I, well, how about I do, can I, do I have to do them all straight, or do I, nah, can we do? do it, then whatever you want to do. All right, all right, first one I'm going to say is, is Onyx. 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 Back, back the fuck up. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Onyx, back the fuck up. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? That, Yo, <laughs> that's the legendary <laughs> shit right there, dude. Yeah. Know what I mean? Uh, <laughs> I'm going to go with Bad Brains, Rock for Life. Okay. Because that album is amazing, and I had bought it a while ago, and then I was listening to it, and I'm like, damn, this sounds good, but it sounds like it was, I don't know if it was in a studio or what, and then I come to find out it was recorded live. And it oh. sounds so good. It sounds like it's in like a recorded live at a show. Yeah. Oh wow. <laughs> it's recorded live at a show. But yeah, the sound guy on yeah, board. Yeah, for <laughs> real. It's, the audio <laughs> sounds so good that they made it an album. Oh wow. And everything Sick. is on point. And I just found that out like I want to say like three, four years ago. And I've been a Bad Brains fan a while ago. So. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Sick. Second album I'm gonna say is Body Count. Body, body count, the first one. Body count, body count. Do you have the original that has Cop Killer and the one that was? I don't. The I know what you're talking. I don't have the original myself, which I totally wish I did. But yes, body. That first album is the most lethal. This is that's before United States of Horror. That was before United States of Horror. The the the, the, the passion, the shit that he was he was talking about on there, like dude. Every time we bump that, there goes your neighborhood. That neighborhood joint, that's my, that's my joint. Yeah. Body that's count. Let's see. I'm waiting for a Taylor Swift or something. <laughs> like that. Dude, you might get a Britney Spears or something in there. <laughs> I don't know. Damn. It's like so many albums going through my head right now. Well, how about artists? Like, must check out artists. For me, I always tell people, if you haven't checked out the Misfits, at least collection one and two, like, <laughs> the greatest hits. Um, sure. You know, like, that's... I've ran through the Misfits song so much, it's just, like, it's, like, an automatic in my brain. Like, yeah. You know? yeah. But, um... Lately, I've been I've been listening to Megadeth. Megadeth. Lately, so. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll say that. Rest in peace. Because it's just nasty. It's just, like, when he got kicked out of Metallica, he was just... A pissed off, fucking angry motherfucker. He, he made Megadeth to get them back yeah. to be bigger than Metallica. He didn't, <laughs> he didn't quite make it, but he still made some some amazing. Uh, he sells Vince yeah. Bond, Rest yeah. in Peace, uh, yeah. Well, uh, just uh, angry. Symphony of Destruction, uh, like he can, yeah. yeah, he's still good. So, anybody else for you? Damn. Last album, last choice. Damn, what would I choose? It would probably be. I low key want to go with somebody new school. You know what? I'm gonna say Kanye West Late Registration. That's a that's a good album right there. You know that got me through some stuff right there. That's that's a good one. Well, thank you guys. We appreciate it. Um, you can check them out on tour for one more show, right? <laughs> Isn't yeah. that it? You got one yeah, more yeah, show. Yeah, we got tonight. We got tonight and <laughs> tomorrow. Unless you want to fly to Europe <laughs> and catch them over there. Um, Look for their new album, United States of Horror, uh, out in your stores. Uh, and thanks. Appreciate it, guys.